today I am doing my October favorites. It is officially November. I am so excited because Thanksgiving's around the corner and I get to eat my heart out. Second thing is the VIB sale that's coming up this week. And the third, my favorite holiday of all, Black Friday. So of course I am so looking forward to this month. I'm so excited. I hope you guys had a great weekend and I have a few favorites that I have been absolutely loving this whole entire month. The first favorite I want to show you guys is something that I had shown you in a Sunday Loves and I just continuously use it so I want to share it with you guys. It is the Soft Lips Cube. Um, it's like a lip chapstick. Um, these are the new ones that came out. This was sent to me in an influencer box and I, box and I absolutely love this thing. I use it every single day. It really moisturizes your lips. It's a dome shape, but obviously you can see I've been using it, so now it's technically square for me. But I love this. This keeps my lips moisturized. The scent that I have is pomegranate uh, blueberry, I believe. Um, they have three different scents. Um, I got this one, and I love it. It is so small and so cute. It fits in my pocket. It fits in my bag. I even have a wristlet, and it fits in there perfectly fine. Mr. Man has used this. My daughter has used it. Oop, I'm almost dropping it. And they all love it. It doesn't leave. Um, it really, like, sinks into your lips. It really moisturizes your lips and keeps them there for a very long time. It's not one of these ones that just sits over your lips or it's too gunky. The scent is not overbearing. It's a really great lip product. I really recommend these. I actually had recommended these to my sisters because I really enjoy them and they know how picky I am with lip glosses and things or lip chapsticks I should say. And this is definitely one of my favorites for a very long time. So I am including this in my monthly favorites to tell you guys now that the weather's changing and you're getting into colder months, this is something you really should consider. The next product that I really have been enjoying, and I got to tell you, Maybelline really does not disappoint me when it comes to mascaras, and I had Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Now, when I first purchased this, I didn't realize it was one of those bendy ones that you could actually bend. I am not a fan of those, but this one is pretty stiff that it doesn't bend on me when I actually put it on. The wand is like flat on one end and then fluffy on the other. So you can really lengthen one on this way and then give volume the other way. So I really like this. This really gives me nice length and volume. I do got to say that after two coats, you got to be careful because you could get clumpy lashes. But it's super black. It lasts all day. It is not an extremely wet formula, but it's not drying either. I've used this every single day this month. And I can get away with wearing these and it looks like I have falsies on because it just really opens my eyes up. I enjoy this mascara. Again, Maybelline, I have not found one Maybelline mascara that I do not like. And this is just one of those that I really enjoy. This one and the Colossal one, the one in the yellow, yellow tube, I really enjoy these two. So this is definitely a favorite of mine for the whole month. Next product that I have is actually two products in one. I combine these two, so I'm going to show you guys these two together. Um, the first portion of it is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. Now, I rarely use these things, but I had this one, and I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. It is a uh, pinky-based highlight, and I like to put this just right under my eye, not directly below my eye, but like right under it to make the T-zone. I am wearing this again today. And then in conjunction with this, I love my Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer. As you guys can tell, I have hit pan on both of these products, or both of the sides. I like to use this just as my inner corner and then right below it. You cannot put too much of this under your eye because it is so emollient and so creamy that it will crease under your eyes. You have to be very um, light-handed with this, but it's a very, very great concealer. I have hip hand and this sucker is not cheap. I did buy these on Hot Look half off. So originally this is $50. I got this one for $25. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So if you split $25 in half, technically you're paying like $12.50 a piece for each color. The color that I picked is light medium and it fits me perfectly fine. 
This, the one on the right, is more of a peachy tone. I really like that one for the inner corner because I'm more, I don't have black under eyes. I mainly have black corners. So that's what I use these for. And then when I really want a very bright highlight, I use the lighter side in conjunction with the Maybelline Dream Lumen. But this is a very great one. It lasts all day. It keeps it very nice. If I am very light with it, it does increase on me. It is beautiful to what I am wearing today on my under eyes. If you have not checked Eve Curl, I would highly recommend it. And it also brings a really nice size mirror in here if you needed it. Great travel size concealer. Yes, it is a bit expensive, but it is totally worth it. And these two together have been heaven on earth for me. So I love these two. The next product that I have been using to set that concealer um, mixture together is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting and Diffused Light. Now you guys have seen me have uh, dim light. Dim light I love for the summer because I am darker. This is a bit too white for me and it's very, you can really tell that I highlighted under my eyes. So I don't like to use this in the summer when I'm pretty dark, but in the winter, not winter time, this is amazing. I am wearing it today with the concealer mixture and this is just absolutely beautiful. I only use this to set under my eyes very, very lightly, but it really gives you that really nice soft highlight. So you guys can see it under my eyes. It is beautiful. I love these powders to set under my eyes. I cannot use them all over my face because I am so oily. I need to use something that keeps me matte, but these for the under eye are amazing. Very, very nice and soft, very, um, they're not thick and powdery where it'll cake up, so it's a beautiful product to use under the eyes. Um, I know these are expenses, expensive as well, and I know they have a trio. I don't know what the trio brings, if it brings this one or not, but this is going to last me forever. This is the second winter that I'm using this, so it has lasted me, and I'm nowhere near hitting pan on it just because I use it only for my under eye, and I absolutely love it. Check those powders out. If you don't like it for all over the face, give it a shot to just try to highlight. I just recently um, picked up the Luminous one to see if I like it as a highlight. Those are the only three that I have. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that one. But definitely for the last two months, September and October, I have been using this and I will continue to use this religiously under my eyes for the rest of the winter. I just like how it looks on me. So the next product that I have been loving, and unfortunately I'm not wearing this today on my eyes, but I have been using this in conjunction with other palettes, other eyeshadow singles, every almost every single day this whole month, it is the Lorac Pro 2. I warned you guys that I was going to have this in my monthly favorites. I love this. I use this one on Friday. Uh, to work for that glitter look and I use the purple all over. I use light brown in the crease um, and I use charcoal to do the outer V part. It's beautiful palette. It lasted all day. I wore this, I put this on around like 7 o'clock in the morning and I did not take it off till about 9 at night. It did not crease. It stayed on all day. It was beautiful. The vibrancy of the colors still stayed on. It is a great palette. My favorite is the first one. I gotta tell you, I am a warm toned eyeshadow type of girl. I love warm tones. They just are, they just go great with me. I am not discriminating though. I do love my cool tone ones and this is a beautiful palette. If you do not own it, put it on your Christmas list. Put it on your VIB list for this week. You're going to love this palette. It is amazing. Gorgeous. I don't really have to explain too much to you guys. You guys know how much these are. The butteriness, the pigmentation, it's all there. It's all there in one package. It's a beautiful gift for someone. I loved it all month long. I'm glad I pulled it out because I did not show it love when I first bought it. But I pulled it out, especially with the winter months. It's just a really nice palette for the fall and winter. It's just beautiful. So this has been a favorite of mine for the whole entire month. And for my last product, I will not talk too much into it because I have talked your ears off. It's the Tarte Pinup Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. Oh, it's just beautiful, guys. I don't know what to tell you. It is gorgeous. I'm wearing Whimsical, I believe. Is it Whimsical? Let me check. This is the only thing I hate about it. You have to read the... Oh, it's called Embrace. You have to read the 
names off of that thing and I'm not a fan of that. I wish they would just imprint it in the actual packaging, but it, they didn't. So these are the eyeshadows. Absolutely stunning. I love them. This is the one I am wearing today, which is called Embraced. I have it on my cheeks. It is gorgeous. This palette, ever since I purchased it, it has not left my vanity desk. I love it. Every single day I've been wearing it. I cannot get enough of this. This is going to last me forever. And the colors are amazing. They are a first one of a kind. You cannot find these same colors. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. I have a full review on this palette, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. I will link it down below if you guys really want to go into detail, see swatches, etc., etc. I will put it down below. It's a great palette. Put it on your VIB list if you are going to go to the VIB sale. You mark my words, it will be sold out will be sold out trust me if it's not already sold out it will be this is an amazing amazing pack so those are my favorites for the whole month of october i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys had a wonderful october i am so looking forward to the next two months it is just so exciting with the holidays my favorite holiday of all time is coming up i don't know what i'm gonna do this year um this isn't my first time going when i am expecting so it's funny because I get kind of like special attention, which is more exciting because people like, you know, move aside and let you go by because they know that you have a big old belly going. So I am so looking forward to it. I'm sure my sisters are going to take advantage of me being pregnant, shoving me in the front too. Um, but I love, I love this time of year. I know that this year went by so fast. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well as I am. I am very excited. I am considering to see what giveaway I should give to you guys for the holidays. Any suggestions, let me know. I love giving things to you guys, especially during the holidays. Who doesn't love to get gifts? So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.